So Nick, we are here in uh, one of Wickham's huts, and it's a uh, Euro 5 Cummins Power. So it has the technology of EGR and also SCR, so it's got the Adelula, so you'll probably find you know, with the new technology, the increase in temperature as we go up the rain, so the, the fans will come on, so you'll feel that too, so you'll get a, a bit of a feel for it. We'll stop up before the, you know, near the helipad, we'll actually do a take-off, a stop there, take-off to show uh, what's what we're doing. We'll engage with the diff lock as we're going up over saddle there, we'll engage the diff lock and we'll just break our way up. Yeah, okay. And so, Bill, you said you're going to engage your, your power divider or your quad locks yeah, on, so on we're gonna, Yeah, so we're going to engage our diff lock. So once we get up over the saddle there, we'll, you know, while we're on the move, We'll yep. actually engage our, our power divider, which is our diff lock, so it locks the two differentials together. So one axle is driving on the front, one axle is driving on the back. So yep. it's yeah, it's basically two wheel drive. Right? Yep. So yep. it's not cross locks; it's just the power divider. Yep. So uh, people and call it power divider, other people call it diff lock. We're going to yep. call it diff lock for this exercise. Okay. So Cunningham's Gap is, has some very steep grades, doesn't it? In fact, it's yeah, it's uh, actually steeper than. The old Toowoomba Second Range crossing It's actually steeper than Toowoomba Range, yeah. So when, you, when we go near the top there, you'll find that we'll actually um, go down a gear before we actually hit that last crest. Yep. So yep. yeah, it's actually steeper. So it does get up around that you know, 14% that, with that very last peak where yep. a lot of transport guys have a bit of trouble there. Yep. But yep. You know, the key thing is to be prepared before you get there. So you know, change down gears before you get there. Um, yeah, having, having your the diff locks in, and, yeah, or your diff locks. And keeping yeah. your high RPM, so using the horsepower rather than the yeah. lug, you know, yeah. so you're not changing gears halfway up the yeah. that last pinch. So when we talk about diff locks, we're talking a power divider, is it? Rather yeah. than locking the two wheels, it'd be a power divide. Yeah, the so. Rear, the rear axle. Exactly, so axles, yeah, lo sorry. locks are locks two centers up, so you, you know, you're, you're not cross locking, you're not doing the um, air lockers as such, you're yeah. just doing the power divider, so. Yeah. Yeah, so locking the two depth centers up so they work together. And that's a really good point. So, you know, TMR is aware of the heavy vehicles, the time it will take to climb up the hill. Uh, we know that it's a very, some, some heavy vehicles will have to crawl up the hill. That's a slow process. So um, we'll, we'll be allowing enough time for that cycling effect for the, for the truck to crawl up the hill safely yeah. and reach the top. So we don't need people to rush. We don't need them no. to force their way up gears. They can pick a low gear and just safely climb up the hill and there will be enough time for them to get to the top before either the traffic signals or the traffic controller releases traffic on the, yeah. um, the top of the mountain. I um, mean, the other thing, Bill, you mentioned was that the importance of, you know, we know that the gap has um, a, a quite steep grades, and in particular, Cunningham's gap and the gap crossing has increasing gradients at the very top. Yeah. So one of the opportunities that can be taken by drivers at that stop slow point is to engage their power dividers if they, if they have them fitted, yes. uh, and that will assist them, at, especially at the top of the grade, um, to get over the top of the hill. Okay, so we've, we've, we've now commenced our hill climb. We've got a nice straight section yeah. of road, but quite flat actually, uh, before we commence the last um, roughly three and a half kilometres of hill climb up to, to the uh, Allen Cunningham yeah. monument. So just at the top here though, I'm actually going to, um, I didn't engage the uh, power divider back there, but down here, I'm going to back off the accelerator and actually engage the power divider here. Okay. So this is the important part what most guys should be trying to do to eliminate that slip up the top, especially in wet weather. So I'm going to engage the power divider. So I'm going to take the foot off the accelerator, power divider's now on, ease back on the accelerator, and now I have two wheel drive all the way at the top. Right, so we're in a flat section, actually a little, yep. tiny little bit of a downhill yep. there. Off the accelerator and power dividers are on. That's it. And the reason we put those power dividers on is to help with that increasing grade uh, cutting up, coming up uh, to the cutting hands gap. Exactly. Just a, and even if it's raining, like every, you, know, you should engage your diff locks in bad weather, like you know, if it's raining down here, and especially after it's been sitting, you know, dry for so long, you get a bit of diesel spill and so forth. So you should always engage your, your power divider and diff locks to get up here anyway. So Bill, we've just reached the top of the, the Cunningham's Gap. Um, 
some of the steepest gradients that we've mentioned. That the, there's a pinch point there at the yeah. top. I can hear that the truck's thermo yeah. fan has now come on. So obviously Jeez. we've built up a fair bit of heat well, coming up the hill. I'm just going to uh, take off the power divider now. So we just turn the power divider off, take the flip accelerator, power divider's off, and reapply the accelerator, and now we're good to go. So we'll start climbing up some gears. And we're letting the kinetic weight of the vehicle push it down. So we're, you know, we're not generating any heat now. So the vehicle's in, oh, thank God, I'm at the top of the hill now. I'm going to start cooling down. So, you know, the temperature will start coming down. So coolant's already starting to come down. It's around 100 now. Gearbox is absolutely quite fine, um, but yeah, the so other side got, of the hill just let the weight push it down. Excellent, and so the, I mean, if the truck's able to, that's a great way to cool the engine in. Is to, you've got a downslope now, you yeah. just roll down the hill. Um, there's also opportunities to pull up. Actually, Fisher Park. There's yeah. the mobile at the on the western side, and then shortly after that. There's also a formal truck stopping bay That's where right. vehicles could stop if they needed to yeah. to check their load or to check engine heat. Now, if, I, if at some at some point, you know, some people, especially with Euro and Six technology, some people might see an orange light come on their dash on the way up a mountain. Well, you know, you, you probably need to stop at the top of the mountain before you start coming down because if you have blown a water a hose or a, a heater hose and done something there underneath the the bonnet, um, you might not make it down the bottom end, and they cause another problem down here. So, you know, if you if you do have a check engine light come on up the coming up the hill, pull up at the top. If you, you know, once you get over the top there, you've got no lights on. Well, there, as they come down, they'll cool down. That's okay. right.